Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Skip, and you're watching High Volts Gaming. Today's episode, we are playing some Beam and G Drive, and we're going to be taking another look at the Torsion D Up mod. Now, it was recently updated. He added in some actual um, trucks, uh, some pre built trucks that you can load right into your game here, as well as I wanted to go back and actually look at some of the configs because I actually missed a couple of parts last time. Now, uh, last time I actually said that the lifted leaf springs and the lifted springs that you're able to use was part of that mod, but in fact, they are not part of the mod. That's actually one of the new things that we actually just got in the game. Uh, one thing that that mod does give you, though, is the dropped front coilovers for the off-road independent front suspension, and it gives you the dropped rear leaf springs. So that enables you to build low rider trucks like this one right here. This is my version of the low rider truck. The only mod that I have installed right now is the Torsion's uh, D Up mod. So uh, that's the only one that I use to actually go in the garage and build this truck. And I really like this truck. It's definitely running those lowered um, springs on it, like I just showed you. Uh, the the mod also gives you the ability to run all these different wheels. So it's got the wheels off of the. A uh, Hitachi or one of the cars, I think the SBR4 or SBR2, one of those cars, that's what these wheels are running off of and it looks absolutely awesome. You can see there I got the bed cover on it, that didn't come with the mod, but um, just I really like this truck and the ability to uh, build these uh, lowered pickups is uh, really cool in the game. But right now let's go ahead and just pull up the uh, menu here and let's look at the trucks that he actually built for you to use. Now it looks like there's four different vehicles here. Now he's got the dropped custom right there utilizing those drop springs, the homegrown off-roader, the D-Series Stubby. That was another thing. We're going to talk about that in just a second. And the financial discussion. Discussion? So we're going to go ahead and look at all those. We're going to go ahead and load them in one at a time here. Let's go ahead and just spawn them all up new. Figs, homegrown off-roader, get in there. go after we get them all loaded in here we're going to take a side-by-side -side comparison go ahead and look at all of them see what the differences are uh, spawn new thank you very much each one of them's a little bit different and you can see that um they're all basically running different wheels on them right each one of them has a different set of wheels different uh, sort of uh, stance and stuff like that and that's one of the really the cool things that I like about this mod is the the ability to put all those different wheels on it just looks really cool it also comes with these uh, off-road tires as you can see there runs the 33 inch and the 35 inch off-road tire and just looking at this truck right here you can see that it's definitely higher than the normal uh, off-road soil pickup truck that's because it's running the 5 inch body lift that's another one of the things that it gives you is the 5 inch body lift it also uh, gives you the little pieces that goes in between the body and the frame to sort of clean up that area, make it look a little bit better. Now here is the stubby version. And this one has the cut off back frame. So as you can see behind the rear tires there, there's not much of a frame left uh, back there. That's to help it with its off-roading abilities. As well as that rear bumper has been narrowed and it also has the gas tank moved up to the back of the cab there. So you don't have to worry about actually snagging that on any rocks or anything. But it removes the tank from the bottom and puts it up there. Uh, this one right here looks like it's just uh, running that lift kit for sure and it's got some nice looking tires on it so just sort of another another vehicle to add to the collection here. So let's just go ahead and get out of my view, view here. Now I absolutely love this thing. This is a um, pretty good representation of what my truck that I drive every day would be if I had a bunch of money to put at it and some you know, awesome rims and lowering down suspension and uh, you know, different stuff like that. And then we, of course, just wreck the crap out of it right away. I mean, that thing looks absolutely awesome. That is uh, pretty much the truck that I drive, a Chevy uh, Silverado 1500 extended cab uh, truck. So, you know, maybe one day my truck will look like that. Now here's his version of the custom. This one's run the automatic transmission. This doesn't have any rear bumper on it. I don't know why, uh, why it's missing its rear bumper, but whatever. Looks pretty good. Again, it looks like it's running those nice big uh, sort of off-road tires on here. Definitely a cool looking truck. Come on, baby. All right, you want to be done. That's fine. Now, here's the, uh, what was this? The homegrown, I think. Definitely feel like it's got some very soft suspension on it. <laughs> Soaking up those bumps, no problem. Look at that. Look at that suspension flex. This one actually does have the manual transmission in it, so that's cool. 
am in favor oh, of the manual transmission. I am running my Logitech G920 steering wheel today. So, uh, you know, definitely like to have the manual transmission versions of the vehicle. Here's another automatic. You can, of course, easily switch that out in the config file there. It's really cool. I'm going to have to actually do some testing with this little stubby truck and just sort of uh, maybe put it next to the stock off-road vehicle and see which one can actually make it further up the trail or, uh, you know, go further, which one actually will be the better off-road vehicle. So I'm sure this one would almost have to be being that it has more ground clearance for the body and uh, more ground clearance in the back, but you never know. It could be just as good or, you know, not really affect it that much. I think if anything, it would be the you know, the uh, crazy outcome of that, you know, it's not going to be a worse off-roader. I don't see how that could possibly happen, you know what I mean? So, this one here just seems like another good off-road vehicle here. It's already got the bull bar on the front of it, off-road lights, everything you want in there. There we go. Really cool looking tires on it. I love those. I, I just can't say enough that those, being able to put these rims on our, our different trucks is really awesome. Because uh, it just really does add a huge list of wheels. Let me go ahead and pull it up. All right, I had to go ahead and get rid of all those other trucks. They're totally bogging my computer down. But now we can go ahead and pull up the wheel uh, or the vehicle config file here. And I want to show you the different wheels that it actually allows you to run. So front suspension. Now, if you guys don't know, you can actually go right here to the front wheel hubs. This is where you actually select which sort of truck you want, right? So if you wanted the off-road, or I mean the uh, heavy-duty, dually-style wheels, you'd pick the 8-lug uh, front wheel. Now switch it out and put the dually wheel, on, or dually wheel and tire on there for you as a default. Now, there's probably not, you know, there's no, there's no variations for those wheels. So if you actually switch it to either the 5 lug or the 5 lug with the 40 millimeter spacers, which does just like it sounds, it spaces the wheels out. And that's another one of the uh, mods that the D-Up series, uh, D-Up mod gives you is these wheel spacers and, you know, of course, the ability to do all this. So let's just go just back to the regular old wheel hubs for right now. We can take a look at all the different wheels that we have. Now... This, these are just the regular truck wheels that would normally go on a truck and then we have all these other ones just to click on one just to start off there's a little rally type wheel I guess let's see here here's a dragger wheel so there's like a, a hot rod sort of wheel on there all kinds of different wheels I'm just scrolling through this list you can see how many wheels there actually are in here and I got just looking through here and everything and found that the uh, what was it, the Hitachi uh, SBRS2, one of these wheels, really looks nice on there, really matches that truck good, I really like how it looks on there, and it's just awesome, awesome that you can see all the different wheels on your truck and really tune it to make it look exactly how you want it to look. But definitely guys smash that thumbs up button if you'd like to see more videos just like this or if you enjoy this one at any time, don't forget to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.